Welcome back to Olympus Critics. Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. But the final episode of Ms. Marvel has aired in the last, I want to talk about the last scene that the uh, episode was showing about her mutation. And spoiler alert, if you've not seen the last episode, do not watch this video. The last, ep the last scene of the uh, episode, um, Bruno actually says mutation. And you actually hear the theme of the an animated X-Men series. And yes, we have finally gotten confirmation of mutants. And now, uh, this should, I'm not going to lie, it, be, it does get me a little bit more excited about the MCU now. That they are finally br bringing the mutants in. I did not, never, I would have never expected it to be this show to bring them in. But that's what it is now. And... I'm interested now leaning towards the next MCU film which will be Wakanda Forever Black Panther Black Panther Wakanda Forever will they make Namor a mutant if you do not know the comics Namor is a mutant in the comics and I'm, I'm wondering will they stick to that even though they've changed his origin story he's not an Atlantean he's a Mayan in the MCU will they keep him as a mutant since We've gotten confirmation that Kamala is a mutant instead of an inhuman. So that's the biggest question. We'll find out when Comic Con with Kevin Feige and the Marvel Studios what are they going to be planning? What will be the next confirmation of another mutant that's out there? Like I said, is it Namor? Will Namor be a mutant in the MCU going forward? Post comments. Let me know what you guys think and make sure you subscribe to the channel. And let me know, like, really, let me know what you guys think. I'll get at you guys later.